Namaste guys, Rajesh here and in this video, I will be showing you how to install Exposed Framework on your rooted Android device running Lollipop. Now the steps that I will be showing in this video will be valid for both versions of Lollipop Android 5.0 and 5.1. Before we get started though, there are a few prerequisites that your device must fulfill. First, your Android device must be rooted with a custom recovery like TWRP or CWM installed. Second, while installing exposed framework will not touch your personal data in any way, it is recommended to create a backup just in case things go wrong. So without further ado, let's get started. So you need to download a compatible version of exposed framework from the link given in the description below. Make sure to download the accompanying exposed framework APK as you will need it to install new modules. Transfer the EPK and the zip file to the internal storage of your Android device. Once done, you need to boot your Android device into recovery mode. This can be done by pressing the volume and the power buttons in a specific key combination. Since this combination varies from device to device, it is not possible for me to mention all of them in this video. If you don't know the key combination to boot your device into recovery, don't worry, you can use an application called Quick Boot from the Play Store. Once your device boots into recovery, you need to select the install button, uh, then navigate and select the exposed framework installation zip file that you had transferred to the internal storage of your device. Then confirm your selection by swiping the arrow to the right. The installation process will only take a few seconds. Once it's done, all you need to do is press the reboot system button for your device to boot back into Android. The first boot after installing exposed framework will take a significant amount of time, say like anywhere between 5 to 10 minutes, so be patient. So once your device boots back into Android, what you need to do is install the accompanying exposed framework APK so that you can ma install and manage modules for the framework. To do that, you need to open a file manager of your choice and then navigate and tap on the exposed framework APK to install it. If you are installing an APK for the first time, you will first need to allow installation of apps from unknown sources from the security subsection in the settings menu. Once the exposed installer APK has been installed, open it up and head over to the framework section. Here you will notice that the app will display the version of the exposed framework that is installed on your device. To install new modules, you need to go to the download section of the app and then select a module of your choice. Then you need to swipe over to the versions tab and download the latest version of the module. Before you install a module though, make sure that it is compatible with your device. Otherwise. After you activate it, your device might enter into a boot loop. Once the APK of the module has been downloaded, you can install it just like you install any other APK. Once installed, you need to activate the module by going into the module section of the exposed framework app and then enabling it from there. After that, for the changes to take effect, you will have to reboot your device. Once your device boots back into Android, you can then play around with the various options that are offered by the module. So that's it guys, thanks for watching this video, do hit the like button below if you liked it and subscribe to our channel if you have not already done so.